The quintessential New Zealand road trip. What is it? For some, it's a holiday, visiting the tourist hotspots. For many Kiwis, it's a return to provincial NZ, often to visit family. That's what this video is about. Every few months, we catch up with the in-laws. Of all the places in-laws could live, I really lucked out. Mine live in Patton's Rock, Golden Bay, at the top of New Zealand's South Island. We were supposed to have already been this year, but COVID lockdown put a stop to that. Finally getting there was a real exhale moment. As always, I felt instantly relaxed when I arrived. The drive from Christchurch to Golden Bay is long, 500 kilometres. But these are 500 New Zealand kilometres. There's a difference. New Zealand kilometres go up and down, left and right. Very rarely do they go straight. So 500 kilometres is not a 5 hour drive at 100 kilometres per hour. It's an all day affair more so with kids. For that reason, Omi took the plane with our youngest to Nelson a week earlier. So this road trip begins with me and the two big kids heading away after work on Friday afternoon trying to punch as far as Murchison in one hit. How are we going? Good. Where are we off to? Golden Bay. To see who? Oh, my grandpa and mummy and Loki. Whoa, so exciting. All right. So this is it, we're starting a big trip aren't we? Off to Golden Bay, a uh, big road trip up north, eh? Yeah. Woohoo! You excited? Yeah. All right, let's go. Bye. Almost exactly 100 k's out of Christchurch is Colverton. This is where we stopped for some fish and chips for dinner. Sunset not long after here, so not much to show. That's probably for the best as there is a bit of car sick along the way. We found a cute wee cabin at Riverside Holiday Park, Murchison. The owner stayed up late to give us a key and me and the kids bunked up. Oh, looking cosy, eating your banana. Hey. Yeah. We took our sleeping bags with us, and that was cosy enough for a cold night. It's a great camping ground, and at $45 for the cabin, I reckon it's good value too. It's all you need when you're turning up late and leaving early. In the morning, we had a squiz around the campground and then drove into town. It was so early the cafe hadn't opened yet, so we did a lap of the town before we went into the commercial cafe for brekkie and a coffee or two for me. We were on the road by about 8.30am, barely any traffic, so apart from a brief stop to avoid spew in the car, we made it all the way to Motueka in one hit. Motueka is a ritual stop for us on our pilgrimage to Golden Bay. The kids get out and play on the playground while the adults have a coffee and steady themselves for the monumental Takaka Hill Drive. There's few hill climbs in New Zealand that compare to the Takaka Hill, rising virtually from sea level to around 700 metres in about 10 kilometres and then the same going down again. The drive over the hill went remarkably well. Fresh air before we began no doubt helped. We made it all the way over without any sickness. A tactical playground stop at Upper Takaka ensured a spew-free run to Patton's Rock. Finally, we were at Patton's Rock, our family reunited. Golden Bay is a place of astounding natural beauty. 
It's super remote, with the Takaka Hill being an off-putting obstacle to a lot of visitors. It means it's a bit quieter than some of New Zealand's other tourist hotspots. We've often visited around this time of year, late September, early October, and found the weather to be almost summery. That wasn't the case this time. We made the best of it though, put on our jerseys and coats and got amongst it. If you're ever up this way, a great spot to check out is the Waikoro Pupu Springs. It's a great one in windy or cold weather. It's really sheltered in there. The native bush surrounds are amazing and the walk is really well done. It weaves between the rivers that are fed by the springs. Because the weather was a bit rough, we had more runs into what we call town, that's Takaka. With small kids there's a few spots for us. The whole meal cafe has a great play area, the library is a great spot to pass some time, and this little gold nugget, the rocket machine at the take note shop, which costs 10 cents, provides a couple of minutes of exhilaration. Usually though, our trip up here is largely spent on the beach even in cold or windy weather. Only rain really keeps us away. The kids find infinitely many things to do down there. That combined with the infinite patience of grandparents makes for a good time. While we love the scenery up here and the laid back vibe, the real reason we're here is to connect our kids with their grandparents. It's a special relationship and we love to see them together. We visited the Anatoki Salmon Farm. They let you fish there and the kids caught two salmon. They fill it and cook it for you, so that was our lunch. We walked up to the Wainui Falls, an easy half hour walk with the kids. A great conditioned track and beautiful waterfall at the end. In summer, bring your togs because there's some great swimming holes. It was time to head away, but this time, for a change, we thought we'd break the trip at St Arno. We drive past its turn off every time we go between Golden Bay and Christchurch, but we've never dropped in. We stayed at the Alpine Lodge in one of their two bedroom apartments. It's a cute little tourist hotel. St Arno is a dot of a town that forms the base for the Nelson Lakes National Park. There's great walks everywhere. we picked up a learning booklet from the information centre that had heaps of interesting research activities for the kids to do around the lake and in the forest. It added a lot of purpose to the walks we did and at the end the park warden marked it for them and gave them a badge. Unfortunately, on our last night, all three kids got a vomiting bug, so there's very little to show for our trip back. It was swift and subdued with the kids sleeping most of the way. Lewis Pass was resplendent on the way back as always, 
and there's something nice to coming home again, feeling like you've had some time to recharge. So that's our version of the quintessential Kiwi road trip, one of many we've had and one of many to come. <laughs> <laughs>